I can't do anything until I've had a coffee, so let's do that first. <laughs> So today's vlog, I meant to start it about three hours ago, but coffee, YouTube, these things happen. <laughs> um, we're gonna be doing a little terrarium today. So it's gonna be a bit of a plant themed experience. So yeah, if you wanna know how to make a little diddy terrarium um, and potentially some plant information, um, this is definitely gonna be interesting for you. <laughs> and if not, you can just laugh at me because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Island World. Um, my name is Bethan um, and as you can see I am a bit of a plant enthusiast. Um, so yeah, let's get going and see what we can make today. <laughs> Terrariums are a really great alternative to having these kind of house plants which you know some can require a little bit more effort than others um but they've always been a great outlet for helping me manage like chronic pain conditions and just general stress um but yeah a terrarium is definitely a lot easier once you've got it built so this is a terrarium that i made about a year ago so the container i think was from ikea and I just kind of collected house plants from different cuttings of ones that I already had. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. It was kind of an experiment to see how it would go. And honestly, I love it. I never have to do anything to it occasionally, very occasionally, especially in the summer. Um, I might just give it a little spray with, you know, a little mister. Um, but it just kind of looks after itself. Um, so yeah, that's, that's doing really well. And I love it very much. <laughs> I keep this one in my bedroom, but I really wanted to make another. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I love little shiny things. So I managed to pick up this beautiful little jar from a charity shop. I probably paid about £1.50 for it. Um, and even though it's small, it's still gonna be suitable for making a tiny terrarium. Um, so let's see what equipment we're going to need for the job. <laughs> so this tray was £3 from the works which is great for just containing the mess. I've got a mixture of various different soils and drainage things. This is some cactus soil that's left over, soil restore which is basically perlite, activated carbon and some orchid bark. And then this is basically a mixture of a lot of those that have been left over from other houseplant things but I just keep it because it always comes in handy. So that's my other terrarium and the new jar which is a little bit iridescent which I really love. Um, for making sure that you know your plants survive you definitely need a good drainage layer so just a little bit of gravel, some moss for the humidity and then just a mixture of things that you can use to decorate. So there's painted moss, there's some painted stones. You could use shells or just little stones. I quite like these white ones because of a good contrast. And then in terms of the little tools, I've got some gloves, some sticks, some house plant shears and a tiny, tiny shovel. <laughs> and then just the mister, that's all you need. <laughs> that's a very good sound, isn't it? <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do with this today. Once you have a suitable container and you've got some soil that you can use, preferably, you know, a houseplant soil or a bit of a mixture like I do, um, you want to make sure you've got drainage, something to decorate it with ideally. And then of course you need the actual plants. So the first one we're going to put in this one is this one that's known as Purple Passion. Um, if you Google it, it'll give you the proper name because I don't know how to pronounce it. And then we also have this little white polka dot plant, which I think is just adorable. Um, both of these plants are very easy for beginners, whether you want to keep them in a terrarium or if you want to, you know, just have them in a pot. Um, this one is cute because it can trail down, obviously, as you can see. Um, now this one can get to like 30 centimetres or so, but you know, for the time being, it's, it's going to do fine in this little terrarium we want to make it a nice little tropical environment and the same for this one okay so let's get going the first thing you might want to do is put some gloves on but that's entirely up to you do not think this goes asmr vibes <laughs> So you want to look for a stem that's kind of maybe somewhere near the edge of the pot that's going to be a little bit easier to pull off. Just really gently pull the plant out of the pot 
and then once you've got it out you want to look for where the root system is and just start teasing away um, you can just use your hands or if you need to you can use like a little pokey stick just something to help break the soil away until you can get the plant separated Once I finish that I usually just kind of stuff it back in the pot and if I need to I'll put a little bit of extra soil in but this will be fine um, and then on to the next one. So same thing again just gently shimmy it out and break those roots away if you need to. This one the roots are a little bit more tangled up together um, so I definitely needed the little stick to help just poke away and tease those roots out. The way this plant is sometimes you can have like quite a few different stems um, all in one pot so you might want to break off like more than one piece of it or depending on the size of your terrarium you know you might want to put you know more or the whole plant in so it just depends on how big the container is really and don't forget if your plants get too tall you can always take the lid off the terrarium so once you've done that again you just want to put that back in and add any extra soil in just to make sure that the plants fully secured in the pot and um, you know there's no big holes in it give it a little shimmy to get that soil in and then you should be good to go and then there's my three little plants the first thing you want to do is add a little drainage layer of stones to the bottom um, depending on the height of your terrarium you might eventually need to take the lid off to give the plants more room to grow so just have that in mind um, when you're picking what you want to put in it. Um, the next thing you want to add is the activated carbon which again just helps like keep the water nice and clean, prevents root rot basically. I used some of my mixture that I already had which was a little bit of everything, a little bit more of the carbon, a little bit of this soil restore which is basically just perlite and then give that a little mix together. It's just to make sure that there's enough good soil good drainage there's like little fragments of terracotta from the orchid mix and that helps for the retention of water in the soil then you get each plant with the tweezers or just depending on the size of the jar you just poke it in with your fingers but the tweezers definitely do help especially if you've got a longer container you just want to make sure that you get the roots pushed down as far as you can really just to make sure that they're not sort of just sitting on the surface of the soil if you need to you might need to poke a little bit of the soil off the roots just to give yourself a bit more space to push it in So that's the plants in now and all I'm doing is making sure that the roots are pushed down and then I'm taking a little bit of the sphagnum moss and what that does is it just kind of helps to hold the water, uh, keeps everything nice and humid for the plants, it kind of stops all the water draining to the bottom. Um, so that's the little view of it from the top, it looks absolutely adorable, I love it. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of extra moss in just around uh, the edges and that's kind of more for aesthetics at this point. There is enough moss in for it to help hold the moisture but I just kind of like it to look a little bit like the jungle. <laughs> So it's looking pretty good so far, um, let's tidy the moss up a little bit, there we go, and then once you've kind of got your plants in position, you've got your moss in and you're kind of happy with where you have everything, um, now you can decorate, um, so you can use stones bits of bark, things like that. Um, so I think for this one, just so you can kind of see them well, I think I'm gonna put some white stones in. Um, so hopefully it'll look pretty. <laughs> this is one of the best bits, you get to decorate it. So I've just gone for adding little white stones 
I mean, there's plenty of other things you could add in. There's shells, there's the painted stones, all the coloured moss. Just put in anything that you're going to like <laughs> to look at, basically. Um, I think the stones really stand out, so yeah, happy with that. <laughs> So as easy as that, nearly dropped it, <laughs> we've managed to make a beautiful little tiny terrarium. Um, obviously it's a bit wet at the minute but over time like the water you know gets into the soil and the moss absorbs it so it will kind of have a bit less condensation but it just depends on you know the temperature once it kind of gets itself established. And then it'll just be a case of keeping the plants, you know, trimmed if you need to. I do recommend a little pair of these scissors. Um, I don't know the proper name for them, but a little tiny houseplant shears, I suppose they are. But um, if you need to, you can obviously just snip the plants if they're getting a bit too big for this pot. Um, and you never know, you could always take them out, plant them on into something else and if you have anything else that's a little house plant, give that a go. Oh, Bracken's getting into it now. Let's see, he's, he's very excited. <laughs> Bracken, are you excited? Are you excited? Yes, I love house plants. Jack's on the other hand, less interested. <laughs> what do you want? Do you want, do you want to go outside? Do you want to cuddle? Oh, I think he wants a cuddle. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for watching my little how-to video making a little tiny terrarium. Hopefully in the next year, it'll be as successful as this one is. Um, but if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Um, if it turns out to be a complete disaster, then there's also that as well. <laughs> but for someone who has chronic pain, like I said earlier, having a really good outlet, something to focus on, it's just a great help. Um, any hobby is good. Um, but for me, houseplants are just something that really brings me a lot of joy. I love watering them all, looking after them, checking for new leaves, it's brilliant. So yeah, if you want to give a tiny terrarium a go, hello Jax, if you want to give a tiny terrarium a go, um, it is something that's pretty cheap to do. You can get a lot of the things from charity shops, local garden centres. Um, and a lot of the house plants, they are pretty good for beginners. If you're not sure, um, you can always Google lens the plant and just kind of get a bit of info to see if the plant that you think can be suitable. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe <laughs> if you want to see more house plant related content. Um, I am hoping to do kind of more videos with my plants and just other kind of things that help anyone with chronic pain or someone that's just kind of needing a bit of a distraction. Um, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>